The new Mad City blog is right here, and in this video, I'm going to be going over everything that it tells us, so let's get into it. Mad City, the future is ziplining. Ain't no way. What is new? Don't know, because I've not seen it yet, but as you can see, immediately, ziplines take over. In a future update, we'll be bringing back ziplines, which will let you dart around the city, so just like chapter 1, ziplines will be back, and they've also got a little video here just to showcase the ziplines, as you can see. They do look pretty similar to the ones that were in chapter 1, and as you can see, you can also use your gun. If I quickly just go back, you saw him. He's got his gun out, but he's shooting whilst he's using the zipline, which is pretty cool. It just gives another way of transporting around the map. I don't really know why they were removed in the first place, but they're coming back, which is good. We've also got more news on the Piggy launcher, which basically is saying it's not ready, but it is coming apparently. Which is weird, because I thought they were literally ending the Piggy event, like, in a few days. So they're adding a Piggy gun to an event that's about to end. Kind of weird. And they've also just announced here that they've actually added someone else to the team, which is pretty cool. We've also got some changes listed right here. We have build changes. Basically, the casino is now going to be called the resort. There'll be a few changes, although the main heist will pretty much be exactly the same. They've got to do this because of guideline restrictions. They've got to kind of change it so it's not kind of gambling. Um, again, the actual heist will stay the same, but there'll be a few visual upgrades, which will be pretty cool to see what this is like. Make it rain. Apparently, there's going to be a new surprise when you drop off your money after completing a heist i'm assuming this is going to be some sort of animation that just plays on the screen be pretty cool to see what this is though remove force animations you can now use your roblox animation if you want to if you don't want to use the animation that everyone else is using i think this means you can toggle between the two though so for those of you who just want to stick using the actual mad city animation you can still do that and apparently the daily spin place is now changed, it's going to be in the middle of the park apparently. We have bug fixes, we have fixed boosts showing up with vehicles that don't have boosts, I know I saw this a lot and it's been in the game for quite a few weeks. The Archangel for example had like a little boost thing on the side when you can't use boosts on the Archangel obviously. Obviously the big thing in the update is this right here, vehicle updates, the obliterator, the thing that's supposed to be probably better than the incinerator, is going to be in the game at a massive 5.3 million cash, I mean that's not even too bad to be honest when you consider what it's actually going to do can't wait to try this out in game and see what it's actually like and of course the adversary is not in the game anymore balance changes we've got quite a lot of more balance changes down here if i just slowly scroll through them because there's again quite a few you know we've got some buffs a lot of it's actually buffs which is pretty cool to see a few nerfs here and there again i'm just going to keep scrolling through so if you want to see this you can pause the screen now, and there it is. That's pretty much it for the blog. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Probably a short one again. That's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.